guys, it's me, Anna, and my trusty sidekick, Mookie. I went to Trader Joe's because I didn't need a lot of things. Basically what prompted this is that my husband wanted bacon, which is actually already starting to fry. But I am gonna show you what I got because I'm recently just so into nutrition and the idea of keto specifically as a therapeutic diet for migraine. And my husband's doing intermittent fasting, but carbs don't seem to give him any problems. But I have a really bad response, especially to refined sugar. So I'm doing keto right now and it's going pretty well for me, but I'm kind of in this place where I'm grocery shopping for two separate kind of diets and trying to combine them. So I think it'll be helpful for me and like it would be great if it could be a resource for other people that are kind of doing a similar thing. So I'm just going to show you what I got. Honestly, whenever I go into the grocery store, I cannot just get one thing. I got organic figs because when I looked it up, it has 6.5 grams of sugar, but 8 grams of net carbs. So it's actually got zero net carbs and for me these make a really good breakfast with yogurt and then i'll probably add some walnuts maybe some pumpkin and chia seeds but i'm not sure it's really good with just walnuts i got feta because i just really like feta really any kind of goat cheese i think this would be good if i made a greek salad or a pasta salad and obviously the pasta salad wouldn't be for me, but pasta salad is a great side to have on hand if you're doing keto, but other people in your family aren't. I got medjool dates because when I looked in my cabinet before I went, there were only six dates left and I like to have these on hand because they're just really yummy. They are not that great when you're doing keto because so they have three grams of fiber and 30 grams of net carbs for three dates. So one date is probably like nine grams of net carbs and that is doable, but not great. I got zucchini because I've just been loving it. Red organic bell peppers, they're about a dollar a piece, but I just love bell pepper. Ever since I was a kid, I've loved it. And I think it would go good in a Greek salad or in pasta salad. And honestly, it's just yummy. I mean, who doesn't love a bell pepper? And then, oh, this is another thing I needed to get. I needed to get ground chicken to make Mookie more food because he's on his last serving. And normally I make him chicken with rice and some vegetables like carrots and broccoli are two of his favorites. So I think I'm gonna make that for him today. I got vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto again because it's really good. This lasts for about a month in the fridge. So if I don't use it this week, I have a long time to use it. So I will have it on hand. I have to ask my husband if he wants me to make pasta salad because if he doesn't want it, I won't make it, but I have the stuff on hand, so it'll be easy for me to do if that's the case. And I got olives, Kalamata olives, they're my favorite. I like them in Greek salad, and I like them in pasta salad, and I like to just eat them. They do have some carbs, but not a ton. I got artichoke hearts because I think these are also delicious in pasta salad. They're good to have on hand and I mean, they're just yummy. Like, let me know if you like them because I love them. You guys know I like fresh flowers. I think Trader Joe's is a great place to get them. And I just wanted hydrangeas. They're not the cheapest because it's $6 for three stems, but the last time I bought these, they literally lasted for over a month. So I think they're a great value. Okay, so that's what I got. It wasn't that much. Oh, actually, I forgot to tell you that I bought tuna, but I'm just out of cans of tuna and I needed more. So I got some and to be honest, I don't really care what store they come from. To me, tuna salad is like a super basic. It wasn't a very extensive grocery haul, but I think I'm gonna show you my breakfast 
at my husband's breakfast and I'll just cook that while I put all of this away. And then I'll show you what it looks like in case you want meal ideas. And honestly, I think it's gonna be delicious. I really wish I could eat eggs, but I can't. So I would have half an avocado with a few pieces of bacon. And to be honest, that sounds good, but I think I'll just eat that for lunch with some arugula and maybe some feta cheese and have a salad for lunch. And for breakfast, I really, really want some figs and yogurt. That sounds amazing to me. So here's my yogurt with the walnuts and figs. Yummy. Here's Mookie, he would like some. Probably would rather have my husband's breakfast, which is two eggs that are over easy but crispy on the bottom, toasted sourdough, and a pile of bacon. 